All right, so before we could uh, continue with archaeology, we w took the Lumbridge waypoint, we ran to the Drainer waypoint, we got the Port Serum waypoint, and then from the Port Serum waypoint, we would uh, pay the... F actually, hold on. Press the escape button, go to settings, go to gameplay, and then you go miscellaneous cutscenes, skip boat cutscenes. Cutscenes will no longer occur when traveling by boat. Put this checkbox. Now pay the fare. So it's gonna cost you 30 coins to board the boat. And then you will pass to Karamja. Ah, the ship arrives in Karamja, and then it skipped the boat cutscene. So people were asking for that, right? That's why RuneScape is amazing. People ask for small little suggestions, like the uh, boat cutscene. The boat cutscene happens all the time. Oh, and there's a penguin here. We could spy on the crate, or can we? Why should I spy on this box? We haven't been to Al we haven't been to uh, Erdron yet. We haven't talked to Larry yet. Also, I guess the first part of this episode is running between lodestone. And if you click on the ground, it ends the cutscene. So we figured that out. And then you can uh, board the boat. The ship arrives in here. So there's an achievement for taking the boat to Ardron. Then there's an achievement for taking the boat from Ardron to Karamja. So we got this one. And then we just uh, run south here. Oh, and then we can talk to Larry about uh, penguins. So the next time, next time that we see a penguin, we can spy on it. So, to unlock uh, Penguin Search, you just go right-click Larry. It has absolutely no requirement. You just click uh, Hide and Seek Larry. Might as well do this if you're an arc run on the way. Alright, so we're here. So here's the Magician. Here's the Waypoint. It's not really too far, right? If you look on the map. Look on the map. There's the maze we were just at. And you just ran down here to the Waypoint. So, through here, we just uh, run past the Ogres and hope they don't kill us. So here is the lodestone, you activate the lodestone, and you don't have to run down here anymore. And there was an excavation site over, somewhere over there. Essentially, here is the town that you need to enter. Hopefully these guys don't attack us, level 58 ogres. We're just a lowly level 3. As soon as you enter the city, you just go down the road, and then she's the first house, first house on the left. Ah, uh, Chief Tess, right click, Archaeology Collections, we would say Smoky Figs, uh, Long Endurance Relic Power, Contribute, so we got the Hookah Pipe and the Wine Goblet. What about uh, Showy Things, 40 Robust Glass, we'll give you. so okay, so we got the Crest of the Dragon, Vegas Maximus. What about uh, Blingy Things, oh we did, we got the Ancient Time Piece and the Legodos Pendant. And what about Hitty Things, nothing here. All right, so we haven't uh, contributed these to anything. So the Museum of Xerox. Oh, we haven't done the Museum of Xerox. So all of these things will go to the Museum of Xerox. All right, we could uh, go back to the main place and complete that one. That'd be no problem. What about this one, Museum of Xerox 2? What about Zamorokian 2? Where is this one? Location, Black Knight's base. See, Black Knight's base, we're not sure if we need a quest or anything, but uh, we do have the waypoint to come back here again, and we turned in what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six different items. So now, out of curiosity, <clears throat> out of curiosity, let's go to the bank, let's uh, withdraw the items that we did turn in. Uh, like if we have a, if we have another copy of them, so we turn in like the the two pipes. We turned in that thing, and that was it. We turned in the painting, and maybe we turned in this. So we'd have to see. <clears throat> so we have all of these things. Let's try turning them in here. Oh, we turned in the timepiece and we turned in the pendant. So we weren't able to restore the Greater Demon Mask or the Lesser Demon Mask. Although, we wanted to click on this to see if it was uh, highlighted that you have a... Oh, so it is uh, white. That's what we wanted to check. We wanted to see if it uh, lets you know if you had handed it in already. So if you go here, there is no check mark on the top right. It shows you handed 2 out of 5 and it shows you what you need to turn in. Alright, cool. 
Zamorokian 1, this would be Location Blacklands Forest. Museum is Rokian, so all of the museum ones are at the Archaeology Guild, so she wants all of these things. So let's go here, right click you, go to Archaeology, Fluencia, and then we're looking for uh, pretty much what, Zamorokian 1, so there's no check mark in the top, and there's all these items we could hand in. 3,000 chrono notes if we contribute. We have uh, all of them except for the Lesser Demon Mask and the Greater Demon Mask. So is there anything in Zamoroki? Oh, the Branding Iron and the Manacles. Here we could turn these in. So that would give us uh, 4581. Give us uh, 1,000 chrono notes. So we still need to get some more things there. And what would these uh, timepiece and that be? Would it be Zerosian 2? Because it's from the second level of that place. Turn those in. So we turn those in. And then we just need to go deeper into the place to find those. So there's a check mark there here. We need to go deeper into that dungeon. Imagine these are even deeper into the like excavation sites. Uh, so here's deeper into that one. And then the Ceridomian and the Armadale ones. We can't... Uh, we need a higher level to even start those ones. So we needed chrono notes for something for the relic power. All right, <clears throat> let's go manage powers at the monolith. So we got six thousand two hundred and thirty-seven chrono notes. So if we go here, relic powers. Uh, we can scroll down and click on what is this one? You'll always gain the effect of tier one luck. It just costs one thousand tier one thousand notes. And um maybe level fifty one hand of glory ring of wealth. But I guess we have to uh find a second hand of glory. So we need to find the second hand of glory somewhere and then we need to add a ring on it. It is level fifty one though, but the star of Ceridomen is the Everlight. Over oh, level 51, we got the 51 uh, thing. So let's just for now, let's just uh, let's just put that one and let's see what this is. 10% reputation gains, 50 cost 1,000 chrono notes. You always gain the effect of tier one luck. Uh, we get harness the power on the slot two, cost 1,000 energy, 50. And then if we ever do use this, it's just like 1,000 chrono notes, we could probably get uh, more chrono notes. So if we go, those are the only two, only three relics we have unlocked. So if we go harness power, put it on the third one, cost 1,000 chrono notes and 50 energy. So let's do that. Now all of these harness the power of three relics at once, achievement complete. So now our characters pretty much uh, permanently increases maximum health by 500. You'll always gain the effect of tier one luck. So that might help out when doing combat. And we could upgrade that further. 10% increase all reputation gains at heart. At the heart, the farming guild, Menaphos, and Maze Cab. So when we unlock uh, more relics, we're going to have to replace one of these. And then I believe it just costs uh, more chrono notes to replace it. So that's cool. We're able to hand in a whole bunch of relics. Uh, we still have a bunch of completed relics <clears throat> and we have chrono notes. Let's save them. Our archaeology team will be back at uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow. Well, this spy notebook, you don't actually need to hold on to it. Once you have talked to Larry, you could delete the spy notebook. And then we go to bank and then we'll just, uh, we'll just deposit the chrono notes. Withdraw this here. So we still have some completed artifacts we could turn into people that need them. Wonder if we should do that, or if we should just uh, go harvest some more artifacts. Well, we have to uh, render the episode. Let's just uh, render the episode. Now we say we still have to go find two time pieces, two time pieces from the first excavation site. And then we just need to go get the pylons. So we'll do that, we'll come back. Maybe we'll have the 20 pylons and the other things that we need. We just need some time pieces. That's all we need is just two time pieces. So we're level 51, we have the rune may talk. 
So that's really cool. You upgraded to level 50 so quick, it seems. Go to YouTube, well, you go to archaeology. We have the rune may talk. Perfect. All right, so now we're back. So basically, uh, we rendered like another two episodes and uh, this one at the beginning, we shortened a lot of it. Essentially, we had to run around. We turned in the relics. We ran to Ooglog and we got some waypoints along the way. Uh, and then what do we do? We just turned in one, two, three, four, five, six artifacts. So we got part of that done. We got the waypoint. If we need to go back there, we know where he is. We just need to get the other uh, parts of the collection he needs. And we find the greater demon mask. So essentially, let's just uh, check to see. It's at 60%. So we just use the ability. Let's go deposit materials here. Uh, we didn't really do anything here except for extract these resources. Let's teleport back to the archaeology guild. We could go to that dig site and complete all those other things there. I mean with the uh, pylon batteries because we actually collected 21 pylon batteries and we got uh, those other time pieces that we needed. But if we go to the bank here and uh, oh if we scroll up here that uh, luck plus one it says you feel the effects from the relic power within you and receive one time sealed scroll easy. So we imagine you discover silk crow so easily while killing. We imagine this is the uh, relic power. They give us a ring of luck plus one. So if we're always wearing that thing. So let's just uh, deposit these. I think the scroll is going to be in the top part. Here we could right click here. We picked up uh, 83 soils. And if we go to this page we should have these things. We still need uh, three of each of them I believe. If we go here, left click, it says that we need them for three collections, and we need these for three collections. So we could try to make one or two of them. It was just the leather scraps. We were uh, looking, looking here too. It was the uh, imp mask that took most of the leather scraps. If you look here, it says it takes 10 leather scraps. So we made three imp masks. That was uh, 30 leather scraps. And it took like 10 and 12. And this, they only take uh, six leather scraps. They just take more of the other resources, which uh, we seem to be getting a whole bunch of demon hide anyways. And same with this one. This one's only uh, six leather scraps. It's just uh, more demon hide. So this one also takes a lot of demon hide. All right. So it says we could make three of them. It says we could make three of them. Let's just make uh, one, one for now. Let's just make sure that we can make at least one copy of each of them, and then we could just turn them to her at the museum. That'll get that one out of the way. So, greater demon mask. So it says we could only make two, right? We don't have enough. Uh, don't have enough leather. Lesser demon mask. Let's make a greater demon mask. Then we'll use more of the leather scraps to make uh, one more mask if we can. And we leveled up. We got to level 52 archaeology. Just make the lesser demon Maya, I guess. Eventually, we will still have to make them. So we need 6, 12, 18, 18 leather scraps. Essentially, when our uh, team returns, returns from their voyage at 6 p.m. tomorrow. And, like, we don't know how long. Shouldn't be too long. If we go here, we could, uh, throw these ones in here. Because these ones are completed. Or we could take the mask out. And we could turn them into the museum here for right now. And these are probably going to go in and stack because we picked up extra masks because we were just uh, farming the leather scraps. Essentially, the only place to get leather scraps was that one place. Uh, there is one in Mauritania. <clears throat> if we go here to resources, we can see leather scraps specifically can be found in Mauritania North Excavation Site. So we probably should be able to get there. Although, we're just going to excavate from the relic sites. That way we get our relics in the process as well. Archaeology collection. And our team is going to be bringing back more resources, hopefully. So we go to Zamorokian 1. We need the lesser demon mask and the greater demon mask. And then we complete this. Reward is 3,000 chrononotes. 
So let's uh, contribute here. We have completed another collection. Contribute all items to the collection. So that's that one complete. And then we got the 3,800 chrono notes. So you could probably use them for something. <clears throat> we need to figure out where to get those items. Uh, we could uh, start working on the Ceridomen. Is that it? Frying pan. Oh, the frying pan, the hollow lantern. Yeah, we could get those ones at the next place. Uh, if we go to the bank here. Oh, so we have to do the pylons as well. Good thing they're soul bound to remind us. So we have uh, 8,043 chrono notes still. We could uh, send the people on another voyage and then it wouldn't even really phase us too much. It was like 5,800. Or we could upgrade the storage box if we need to, or upgrade the Matox uh, Precision. That'd be something to do. <clears throat> what if we get a new power we want to use? Instead of increasing the precision a little bit, let's just wait till we get more chrono notes. Cause it's gonna be like 8,000. Or let's see how much it is. We can get more chrono notes, I believe. I believe uh, relics we have already found. We could just farm a bunch of them, get the resources, create them, and then turn them in for 60% of their value. So if we shop here, he will sell us upgrade or the Maytalk precision upgrade. Increases the base precision of your Maytalk by two. So precision would allow us to get artifacts and materials faster, hopefully. So it's 8,000 chrono notes. We'll just buy that, it's a permanent base precision of your may talk by two. Uh, if we look at our item, let's just see what ours is. <clears throat> Archaeology, may talk, room may talk. So we get a remove from the tool belt. There you can see the base precision is 30. So we increase it by two. So I mean every, every 15, 15 hits, it'd be like we got another hit. Hmm, I don't even know. Doesn't really seem like that much, but I imagine it all, all adds up together in the end. Yeah, we'll just buy it. The only thing we really need is Maytalk Precision Upgrade, 8k Chrono Notes, Precision by 2. Maybe it'll help us. We have exactly enough Chrono Notes. So if we leave this place... Oh, let's go to the map. Let's go to the pylon place. And let's try to discover some things. So let's view the dig site map. Let's go to the level five dig site, fast travel. Uh, and then we could go to the other dig site probably for the next episode. Maybe we should start the next episode, go to the dig site. So imagine this clip's getting pretty long already. We imagine this clip's like almost 10 minutes or pretty close to 10 minutes. Oh, we'll just go to the main fortress just to run through. It's not too bad to run through. You get to see the place. <clears throat> so here's the material caches if you need material specifically, but in the end, maybe it's better to just get the relics all the time. So we went through and powered this one. We'll just go through the ones that we powered. So we powered this one. That was a one, two, and there was nothing up there. So we studied some things up here. We could examine it. So there's three right there. So there's three of them. Yeah, we'll just go this way. So there's supposed to be seven of these that we could find. So we found three on the top level. There's this one. We have the power of that one. So there's four. Then there's this one. There's five. And there's six and then there's seven right over there Actually, there's not an eighth one right it looks like pretty much there's seven of them so we powered five of them so we close well we could uh let's take that off let's put it back on our tool belt remove it um add to the tool belt there we go so if we go here, this would be the last one we have the power that we have access to, apparently. Because the other one's locked behind this door. Or, oh, uncover ancient... Oh, that's behind the thing. Alright, we thought it was going to break down the wall or something. 
So if we power the final one we have access to, power the station, it requires 10 batteries to power each of them. So we spent 50 batteries. This is going to be 60 batteries we spent. The power of the shadow anchors on the shadow somehow feels closer. So we have unlocked all the ones we have access to. Oh, I can I can't seem to pass through this barrier. <clears throat> so we haven't quite solved the mystery. There's oh there's uh two of them back here. There's one in here and then one in here. So we still need uh so we do need eighty of them. So we still need to get ten more pilot things. So how on earth are we getting to that? Cause this thing's gonna say it requires like level ninety five or something. What if we talk to the archaeologist? Will he give us a hint? Hey, I'm trying to rest here. No, he won't. Is there an agility thing? This looks like there's a road up there, but then maybe it doesn't read in there. Study orchid stained glass window. We won't be able to reach it. So it's still a mystery to us. Maybe, maybe since we powered all those and the power pylons fully powered or something. Examine it. Is blocking the path <clears throat> into the shadow realm. Maybe when the maybe when the pylons fully charge, we'll run through here and check. So we're trying to see if there's anything new here. So if we check the charge pylon, it says you get access to the shadow realm, 34%. So we already seen it charged fully today. Let's just go to the basement. Right, so down here, let's just uh, study everything. Or let's go to the top, let's uh, see how long the clip is. If the clip's really long, then we'll just uh, end the episode and we'll say next episode. We'll go down here and just quickly study the final things.